Hi guys, uh, this is Ranjit and many of you were asking me about my Tram for a bike and as you can see we are in the Tram showroom right now and in fact last week I had an incident with my Tram for a bike today I have come to actually collect it we had to actually use the RSA service to send the bike here but now it's apparently ready and they have fixed it so let's have a ride and I'll uh, tell you guys what actually happened and how's the experience of the Trident now it will be almost a year uh, it's about 11 10, 10 odd months so guys the bike is actually ready it's got fixed and uh, while I ride I'll tell you what is it and we also got the servicing done so chalo two in one so guys this is actually the next day uh, my GoPro <laughs> failed that day uh, it started recording but it stopped and I didn't realize by the time I came back only a small snippet of the recording was there so anyways uh, uh, it's been almost 10 months since I've got this bike I'll uh, tell you my experience uh, uh, what do I feel about the bike a bit later but let's talk about what happened and I had to actually use the RSA uh, that is roadside assistant and uh, they had to pick up the bike and take it to the service center what happened is, is that as you can see these are like sort of outskirts area of Hyderabad I was just riding and uh, there was one irritating speed breaker like this in the corners as you can see there is a like bulging or something and uh, uh, this is a good one this was not a bad speed breaker but I'll show you some of the roads are actually broken up in this area they're not filling it up properly I feel and uh, example of that is here and you can see a uh, road they fixed this road a little bit as you can see there are a lot of ditches and stuff this is nothing there was a huge ditch like this there was a speed breaker and uh, other part of the speed breaker there was a huge ditch and there was a stone actually poking out there okay so what happened is that uh, the bike uh, the lower portion as you can see here uh, that was hit by the stone and the black area it looks like it's made up of plastic but uh, apparently it's not plastic it's made up of aluminium uh, but that stone shard was so uh, sharp they said that it created a crack there uh, a hole actually and actually immediately the oil started uh, leaking and here it dis immediately after about five seconds it displayed low level oil warning luckily i was just in this area also uh, that's why not away far away from my home uh, so I just parked the bike aside and I called up the uh, Triumph uh, Hyderabad guys. Pretty helpful. <laughs> I called them early at 8.30 but they picked up the call uh, uh, and they told like uh, they uh, you can't, we can't move the bike like this because the oil is completely drained out. So I'll have to call up the roadside assistant. Luckily when I purchased this bike, I had opted for the RSA option. Uh, so I applied for uh, I called the RSA guys and they came after about 90 minutes as you can see uh, they uh, put up the bike uh, and uh, they actually it was done nicely I would say I was worried about the RSA how will they do it but that was done nicely and uh, the bike was delivered to Triumph uh, sh showroom and they fixed uh, the bike uh, there uh, the sad part is that I went to the tram showroom earlier as I showed you and I asked them is there any belly pan or something like this to protect uh, it in the future because in Indian roads yes stones can just come and hit you like that at the bottom or something but sadly at least for the trident uh, they have the belly pan or something for other trident model but sadly for the trident it is not an official accessory so I am stuck so if you have a trident if you're going on very bad roads or something a lot of stones poking around be careful about it because if it hits that area uh, you'll immediately have complete oil leakage and that can be an issue oh, wow this area used to be like no traffic at all man let's notice now crazy traffic around this area uh, uh, so yeah uh, they fixed it um, and uh, obviously like uh, they said that my Jan in my first uh, the second service is due at least in January and why don't I do it right away because anyways we have to completely fill the oil and all this thing so I said okay so we did that and so the bike is done uh, is now working perfectly fine as you can see the quick shifter works the pickup on this bike is amazing uh, still after 10 months uh, 
uh, I'm loving it. The only thing is that uh, as I was in the showroom, I checked the latest pricing of these Trident 660, at least in Hyderabad, on road with insurance and all this. The price is shockingly increased now. It's almost 9 lakhs 75,000 or something like that. So the pricing has increased a lot, I would say. But apart from that, uh, uh, the bike has been running very very well apart from this one incident that I have the brakes are so amazing on this one gives me so much confidence I would say sometimes I drive the highness after this and oh my god I get so scared because the uh, brakes on the highness are so weak actually compared to this one and this one still gives me all the thrill and still I'm riding this in the i do, actually don't use the road mode a lot i'm just using the rain mode where the power is slightly down but still even in the rain mode uh, oh man this is beautiful i would say uh, so overall it's nice uh, one thing i would notice one negative about this bike is that in summers i hardly took this out the reason for that was uh, yes again this is not particular to this bike most of the uh, higher cc bikes have this issue uh, they tend to heat up quite a bit yeah if you're just riding it uh, like this on empty roads not an issue but if you're riding it in city and congested oh man the heat that they generate it was not like here it was showing me a heat warning or something but the heat that was generating uh, my thighs it was becoming uncomfortably hot so i just avoided riding this bike in summers and yes in uh, uh, rainy season i just don't like uh, riding the bikes that's why i didn't ride it for the last five uh, or five six months i would say uh, but apart from that normal uh, in the winter is just set in and now it's a pleasure riding this uh, bike i would say very well and actually i'm liking the suspension also in this uh, i thought it would have been stiff or something but brilliantly balanced i would say uh, at least with a single person i haven't uh, hit any what do you say speed breakers or anything with this uh, bike uh, so with single it's okay pillion i am not riding anyone with a pillion my wife sat once on this as you know she got scared because of the height of the oh my god we have a small accident over here somebody fell peep this is the problem in this area as you can see so much mud is there on this roads people get scared up and this was supposed to be one way but now they've made it two way so that also creates a problem uh, but overall uh, the bike has been running uh, fine uh, and uh, another thing uh, that i would like to know if you own a trident this i shot earlier so here is the footage typical hyderabad traffic jams these days uh, it's just crazy as you can see and by the way guys uh, one thing i noticed on this uh, trident 660 specifically is that uh, you can fill in regular petrol that is 91 octane but this bike really likes 95 uh, octane once i started filling the 95 octane the performance of the bike changed drastically so that is also something that you have to know and if you have a trident try putting 95 octane uh, for a tank or two and you will not definitely notice a uh, difference now i'm exclusively filling this with 95 uh, octane okay now some of you might be asking me what is the mileage i get on this one uh, okay regarding the mileage the mileage did not differ when i started putting the um, 95 octane fuel it's just that the engine was more eager to ref happy i would say to ref a little bit higher uh, the mileage uh, on these kind of roads i would say not that congested i'm getting average of about 21 but again as you saw uh, in the earlier footage where there was a lot of traffic and something like that uh, the city uh, traffic kind of a thing i uh, you'll get just about 18 i would say so that's regarding the mileage uh, but overall uh, still liking this uh, bike i would say and uh, i like the seating comfort also i was a little bit worried because slightly aggressive stand but man 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 i would say very very comfortable the seating stand i think that that's where trident uh, the tram guys have nailed it and also though it's a big big bike uh, it's very very agile it just flicks anywhere you want so you just 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 this bike just moves wherever you point it so that's also a nice thing uh, so uh, this was my experience of the trident guys uh, uh, overall it was a nice and uh, yeah had that uh, 
unfortunate incident but luckily the tramp uh, guys took care of it and uh, the rsa also worked pretty well so anyways guys uh, that's it for now for this video and i know many of you are ask, still asking me a lot of questions about the nexon ev uh, the ev car that i have purchased uh, so i will be making uh, a little bit more videos now i have covered over uh, 1200 kilometers on that in the last few weeks uh, so we'll be making a lot more videos on that so if you want to know anything specific about that uh, do let me know i'll try to cover that in my future videos anyways guys uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys